Welcome back to the Zoom Playground. I'm your host, Betsy Sabatini, and I have an exciting Zoom tutorial lined up for you. In this video, we talk about automatically creating Zoom breakout rooms based on Zoom poll results. I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up a poll that automatically transitions your participants into breakout rooms based on their poll responses. And before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're going to take it from here and start by creating the Zoom poll. So you need to start here at zoom.us and log into your Zoom account. And then on the left-hand side, go down to where you see surveys. This area inside Zoom is where your surveys, polls, and quizzes are all created and stored. Now in the upper right corner, start by clicking the button that says create. And then you're gonna be asked whether you wanna create a survey or a poll or quiz. And we're gonna do the poll or quiz. And so click that option there and then click create. All right, on this next screen, the first thing we need to do is give our poll a title. And that's at the very top where you see untitled poll. In my case, it says untitled poll 23. And that's just an incremented way that Zoom keeps track of all the polls that you've created up until now. But we're going to delete that out because this name is what we're going to see in our list when we want to bring it up inside a meeting. So I'm going to create a poll that asks what device are you using? I don't have to put a question mark or anything. It's just my name that I'm going to see in the background when it's time to run a poll live inside a meeting. And then the next area down where it says untitled question, now I'm going to say, I'm going to phrase it with the right punctuation and capitalization as I want people in my meeting to see. So it's important here that you type it out the way you want them to see. So for instance, what type of device are you using today in this Zoom meeting, for instance? And I like to ask those questions because sometimes when people come into a Zoom meeting, they're either on a Windows computer or a Mac or maybe an iPad and you can't really tell and they might need a little bit of support based on the type of device they're using. So now instead of them typing in a, a fill in the blank, I'm going to give them choices. And so I'm going to click here where it says choice one, and I'm going to put in what I want them to choose. So a Windows computer, and then I'll give them a choice to pick a Mac computer. And then you see underneath there, it says add choice. This lets me do choice number three. And in this case, typically people join with an iPad. That's usually the tablet of choice, although you could put a Windows tablet or just a generic tablet as a choice. And then we'll put iPhone or Android phone. Okay, beautiful. You could keep adding choices if you wanted to, but for this example, we're gonna leave it as is because we're gonna break them into rooms based on whether they're using a Windows computer, a Mac computer, an tablet, that's really good to have them in their own breakout room because they may want to talk amongst themselves about how they use a tablet in Zoom meetings. And then finally, the phones, the people who are on mobile phones, you know, they have a much smaller screen. And so they may want to network with one another. Maybe they work for a specific industry where they're on their phone most of the time and they want some support on how to run Zoom meetings from the road, of course, safely. Now, down below, you can see required, show as dropdown, and then create breakout rooms. And there we want. Now, I want to make sure people do answer this. So I'm going to switch on the setting for required. I don't want people to look at it and not be able to submit without selecting. And then you could say show as drop down. I'm going to leave that off. I do like them to see clearly all of the choices in front of them without having to click and then revealing a drop down. And then finally, here's the magic create breakout rooms. And with that one turned on, when the poll is run at the end, when all the answers are in and the poll is ended, you will have the ability to create breakout rooms based on these answers. All right. Now in the upper right corner, just go ahead in that upper right corner and click save. All right. Well, you can see that the what device are you using poll is completed and ready to run in a meeting. So let's go take a look at that next phase. Okay, so here we are now in a Zoom meeting and the next step is to launch that poll that you just set up. And so you do that 
from the polls quizzes button that you see here in the toolbar. Now you must be the host in order to launch this poll. You can be the co-host, but you need to be assigned the co-host once you get into the meeting. And you can only be assigned the co-host by the host. So usually polls will come up right here and you'll see now. All right, so as shown here, here is your list of polls. And then there in that first row is the one that we created called, what device are you using? So you click there and that poll appears inside the meeting. Now as the host, you're viewing your version. So it's giving you a little timer up here. It's saying how long you can talk to this. You can say, hey everyone, look at the poll now that's on the screen. Please pick your answer and then click submit. You see, they're seeing a slightly different version that has the same choices, but they don't see the percentages that you see on the right. They're seeing a submit button. So you may need to encourage them to pick their options. I'm actually, I have some devices here. I'm going to do that now. So you can see here as we you know, there's only a few of us in this meeting right now. And as we pick our choices, these appear on the screen. So you can actually speak to that. You can say, I see that two of the three of you here have participated. Thank you so much. Make sure you, you uh, select your choice and you click submit, and then you will see all them there. You can also say, we only have so many minutes left for the poll. Please get your votes in now, and then the poll will end. And when you click that red button in the bottom right corner, they cannot vote anymore. So you see here, this gives you the poll results and you can speak to that. You can say, thank you so much. I can see that, you know, we're pretty much 50, 50 here in the room, you know, something like that. And then here is the magic. When you click on that button, create breakout rooms, that's exactly what it does. Now there's only a few people in this meeting right now, but when you have a lot of people, this is really helpful because look, it says so many participants per room, so many rooms based on the answers. And when you click create, Oh my goodness. Let me move this over. Here we go. So now you see, look at that. The people have been put into the rooms based on their answers. You have a Windows computer room and you have an iPad room. Wow. And the people have been put into the rooms based on their answers. And then all you have to do at the bottom right corner is open all rooms and they all get put together. So all the Windows people in one room, all the Mac people in another, if they were here, all iPad people and all phone people and so on. Isn't that great? And that's how you create a poll that automatically transitions people right into breakout rooms. And that's a wrap for today. I hope you found it helpful and that you're as excited as I am to implement these strategies in your own Zoom meetings. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the Zoom Playground for all the latest updates. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep on Zooming. I'm Betsy Sabatini, your Zoom expert. Take care.